We all need a space where we can feel productive, focused and inspired. Hi, I'm Edward Smith and in this video I'll take you through my DIY process of updating my workspace and give you a tour of my home music studio setup. I'm a singer songwriter and content creator, so I wanted to optimize this space for my creative needs. Overall, my goal was to have a workspace that was clean and minimal in design. The first step, cleaning up. When I first started this project, my girlfriend had just moved in, so the closet became a storage hotspot. It was a mess. Boxes everywhere, lots of old stuff we've both been hoarding for years and just way too many computers and devices. I had a hard look at every object in the room and asked myself, do I need this? Do I use this often? Does it add value to my workspace? If it wasn't an emphatic yes to any of those questions, then I sent them to donation or the trash. The next thing I did was to consolidate computer gear. I just had too many machines and devices. Many were old pieces of equipment I used back in school, so I wiped what I wasn't using and sold them. Once everything was clean and organized, I moved all my gear and equipment to the new area I laid out for my workstation setup. I wanted to update the accent wall so the space had more contrast. I chose a charcoal grey with a slightly cool tint to it. I used the paint with a matte finish to keep the appearance soft. Next on the list was the foundation of my workspace, the desk. I wanted a big black angle desk made of solid wood. I looked at many tabletop options from Ikea but ended up buying a used studio desk on Craigslist instead. Because the countertop was solid wood, it was very heavy and difficult to move around. In terms of setting it up, the countertop is separate from the bottom and I had to screw the two sections together, making sure the top and bottom are perfectly placed in the center. With my desk finally prepped, I was ready to set up my hardware. I work and produce my music on PC and I used to record and produce music on a small 25 key MIDI keyboard but after struggling to play songs while using both my hands, I decided to upgrade to a 49 key MIDI keyboard from Nectar. I used to have a small wireless keyboard and a wired mouse, but the lack of a numeric keypad and the random wire always getting stuck meant it was time for an upgrade. So after a lot of research, I found the Arctic wireless keyboard and the Razer Arthurus wireless mouse was the best budget solution for my situation. I love the low profile design, the tactile feel of the keys and the beautiful look of the materials as they match the rest of my setup perfectly. Also the ergonomics of the keyboard and mouse are amazing. Underneath that I use a leather mouse pad I bought in South Africa as a soft surface to comfortably rest my hand and it also serves as a visual anchor to break up my desk. For my monitor I'm using an ultra wide display from Dell. In the past I used a dual monitor screen, but I prefer having one big screen with lots of real estate for all my windows. To work comfortably for many hours at a time whilst maintaining a good posture, I invested in a few things. A good chair and a monitor stand. The chair was probably the most important purchase since I spend most of my time in it at home. I've been rocking a cheap office chair with a back support cushion and it was way overdue for an upgrade. So after much deliberation, I opted to get the Fortnite Omega gaming chair, which was incredibly comfortable and very clean in its design. It's adjustable in all the right places and also comes with an included footrest. To reinforce good posture, I bought a monitor stand to keep my eyeline looking up and to serve as a shell for other pieces of equipment like my audio interface and my workstation clock. As for studio monitors, I use the Yamaha HS8s. In the past, I had my studio monitors sitting on my desk, but to create more space on my desk, I've opted to go for wooden speaker stands. This also allows me to move my studio monitors exactly where I need them to be, ensuring that the distance between my speakers and where I sit is correct. Mixing between studio monitors and headphones is essential, and to make the switch between the two as quick as possible, I placed my headphones on a headphone stand. 
This ensures that my headphones always stay connected and keep my desk as clean as possible. Because I switch tasks between shooting, producing and writing, I needed a good way to organize my gear. I wanted my most used items to be within arm's reach, so I arranged everything based off that. I bought a 4 rack shelf unit to store my loose accessories like camera gear, microphones, wires and my headphones. For things I really access, I tuck them away on the bottom shelf to be less visible. To keep my space looking clean, I decided to hide my wires from sight. To do that, I used some cable ties and raceways to route and manage all my cables underneath and on the side of my desk. I taped a power strip to the bottom of my desk to plug in all my equipment and to ensure I don't leave any wires lying on the floor. While I enjoy the minimal design and openness of the space, I wanted to make sure there was still some character to it. I love traveling, and to portray that I placed a four-piece artwork of a world map above my desk setup. I also mounted my guitar to the wall, so it stands out and to add some extra character. This also helps keep the area around my desk as clean and spacious as possible. To complete the setup, I keep some artificial plants on my desk and on my shelf. And to top it all off, I add my neon LED sign. That's my home music studio. I've been working in it for a couple of weeks now, and I've got to say it has made a huge impact on my productivity, focus, and just general enjoyment of being in this space. Yes, it does get a little cluttered from time to time, but because I've developed a better standard and system to keep things organized, I find it fairly easy to maintain. This was a big project for me. It took about a month on the weekends and a lot of research to complete. I didn't know half the things I know now about designing a good workspace. If you have any questions about anything in the video, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer it. I've also added a link in the description of all the products that are used in my home music studio in case you wanted to pick up any for your own. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because it lets me know who's watching and if you want to see more of these videos. Now with that out of the way, it's time to get back to work.